Bell Vans is a fundraiser, and so we get different music groups, and we have vendors and food trucks, and they come on out, and we just have a fun time. All of the um, proceeds go to TMH Heart and Vascular Center. It is one of the best heart centers in the country, and we're lucky to have it here. Over the past few years of us fundraising for them, we've um, established a Lincoln High School wing. A Lincoln High School through Battle of the Bands has raised uh, over $65,000 uh, so far. But one of the things uh, with heart and vascular disease, um, it's the leading killer in the nation uh, above and beyond cancer. Um, it affects people of all ages. And one of the, one of the neat things about having uh, the students at Lincoln High School involved is not only the fundraising for the procedures that we do, but the education you know, how it can affect anyone and that uh, we really need to start thinking at the high school level and even younger about how to prevent heart disease. In the fall of 2010, I was at a senior parent meeting at Lincoln High School. So Aaron and I got together and we went and had a, an initial meeting with um, Dr. Birch, pitched the idea to him, and then next thing we knew was the beginning of Battle of the Bands. A lot goes into advertising for it and planning um, in the months ahead, trying to get businesses to donate and um, really just trying to get people to come to the event um, from all around town. The students get involved in what it takes to run an event of this size. They get to talk to members of the community. They get really excited about music and performing and it's a lot of work, but I like to see the passion that they bring to the table, so it makes me excited to do it. We have the full day where we start um, setting up in the morning, um, and then we get the stage together, we get everything going. We have our student performers compete. So we have different judges. We usually pick three faculty members and then three students or alumni, and then they um, come together and they decide on a winner. So we get the rubrics at the beginning of the night, um, which entail questions about the band's ability to engage the audience, uh, whether their intonation is good, among other criteria that we judge uh, over their overall performance. And then at the end of the night, um, we tally the votes and then we ultimately decide on the winner. There's always like the cash prize, which is usually $100 for the winner. Recently, we've had so much more talent come in, I think. Like starting last year, there were a lot more bands that like, we started doing like a different audition process and it was just we got a lot more talented individuals and also a lot of different types of music. We're an acoustic duo, so we kind of, I don't know, she's into like older music and um, yeah. I love like new pop music, so we kind of just do a little bit of everything. We started writing songs together, so we're going to play some originals. Like feeling the energy of the crowd and getting to perform in front of the high school. Yeah, yes, we're kind of like, like losers at school, so <laughs> it's kind of fun to go and be like rock stars for the night or something. I think it's really um, significant how it brings together everyone, um, especially because we do invite people from other schools and we have performers from other schools. So we get bands from Leon and Childs. And um, last year we started bringing in community performers that were like professional. So this year we're featuring Brightside and one of the members went to Lincoln. Yeah, well actually when I was a Lincoln High School student, I actually played the inaugural Lincoln High Battle of the Bands with my old band and won actually, it was awesome. I'm just excited to see all the uh, all the different bands. We had a really good time last year uh, watching people perform. This battle of bands in general is special because it's raising money for such a good cause. So it's, I don't know, it's cool that high school kids and I guess other people as well, like the food trucks and you know, we're a band from around this area and everything, get to all get together to raise money for something so good. We really aim to make it a community event more than a school event. Um, so we can bring together like all ages, future Lincoln students, past Lincoln students. I think it's an opportunity that students around the county have to really showcase their talents and that opportunity to express their inner strengths as musicians is something that uh, we're really proud to be able to offer here. So it gives them an opportunity to share it with us and a lot of people we don't even know they can sing or rap or do anything until they come out. Well this year I have quite a few students performing so I'm actually really excited to see how they do. The favorite part about Battle of the Bands is hearing the students when they're talking beforehand how excited they are, they practice. It's a big deal to them. As a member of student government, we have like a team of people who put it all together. We work so hard putting it on that I feel like it definitely has like an essence of 
unity and I think that that's so important especially with Lincoln and like all its diversity. I think that that's what I love about it is how it unifies us.